Look at this little fella. It seems like his grooming session is almost over. I have to confess, I sometimes have more hair stuck in my comb. Now get ready because you're about to enter into a micro world. What you see is a flea right there. And here's a quick fact. Ant-Man would still be larger than that. Let's check if this feline friend has other inhabitants inside her fur too. Sorry, doggo. It looks like the kitty wins this round of the hygienic competition. So as you can see, cat hair is thinner under the microscope. It is also easier to bend than dog hair of the same length and is more likely to have bands of different colors on a single hair. But how about we enter into the fascinating world of plants now? There's a very specific reason why she sprayed some water on the leaves. This is how plants breathe. It looks magical, almost makes me feel like I'm taking Professor Sprout's herbology class at Hogwarts. I wish my smartphone's camera had that level of zooming in. Hey, speaking of fleas and Ant-Man, how about we say hello to this little guy? But you know what? It can't actually hear us because ants don't have ears. They hear by feeling vibrations in the ground. Whoa, now I kind of wish I didn't see it this close. But did you know ants can carry 10 to 50 times their weight with their strong jaws? That's the equivalent of a 180-pound human carrying a full-grown cow. By the way, don't let those weird eyes scare you. Ants cannot see the world at the same resolution as we do. Their world is blurrier. However, life is never going to be the same after seeing this many details about an insect. Enough nature. Let's give tech nerds some excitement too. Put on your blue light blocking glasses and let's take a step into the world of neon lights. I sort of wish there were tiny people behind the screen. By the way, are you team Apple or Samsung? Well, they both look hypnotizing if you ask me. Everything can be checked under the microscope. Who would have guessed a wire would look like glitter eyeshadow? Oops, you're gonna need a new one for further observation. This cotton thread would help make a great colorful dress. Wow, look at all those cotton fibers. It looks like a thread within a thread, sort of like Inception. Where's that going? It's giving a slimy worm vibe now. If I told you grass actually looks like a saw, you probably wouldn't believe me, but see it with your own eyes. I sure would hesitate before walking on the grass bare feet from now on. Heads or tails? Well, it doesn't matter. We'll look at both sides of this coin. By the way, you should probably wash your hands after holding cash, especially if you're going to eat something. Because, according to a 2017 study, it's filthy. And this microscopic view is the proof of that. We all crave to feel relaxed and cozy from time to time, and a larger feather pillow definitely helps achieve that. Did you know feather pillows last longer than synthetic pillows? That's one of the many reasons why they're so expensive. Hey, makeup lovers, this one is especially important for you. Dermatologists always say never sleep with your makeup on because that might clog your pores and might cause more face mites to live on your skin. But actually, mites are a normal part of healthy skin. They live in the hair follicles in your skin, especially around the eyelids and lashes, and feed on dead skin cells and oils. Rock on, dude! Let's observe a drop of fresh milk before it gets pasteurized. By the way, do you know why pasteurization is important? It's because milk can get contaminated in many ways. Healthy animals carry germs that are harmful to people and might cause severe illnesses. This goes for not only raw milk, but products made from raw milk, like soft cheese, ice cream, and yogurt. Well, everyone has smartwatches these days, but a good old quality watch is still valuable if you ask me. Also, did you know that the very first wristwatch was made in 1810 for the Queen of Naples? The marvels of nature are countless, so let's check more stuff under the microscope. This looks like a gemstone found in a cave. It especially reminds me of an amethyst. The itsy bitsy spider climbs up the water spout. But let's take a closer look at how it uses all eight of its legs to climb there. Do you know how long it takes for a spider to spin a web? The answer is an hour on average. 
Well, that's still faster than me getting ready to go out. By now, we already know what ants look like up close. Yet again, over a hundred species of spiders actually mimic ants by having evolved similar appearances, so don't let that trick you. Eggshells are tougher than you think. Uh-oh. Somebody needs to clean their makeup brushes. I'm not sure if I want to see what the dirt really looks like. Let's hope those are pigment particles from the makeup products. It's important to keep iodine in your first aid kit. It's a powerful and natural antiseptic and can help get rid of fungus, bacteria, and other microorganisms. Not to mention, it looks magical under the microscope. Here's a fun fact for you about vinyl records. The biggest selling album of all time is Michael Jackson's Thriller, with 32 million copies sold worldwide in the first year. Wouldn't it be fun if we looked at that album under the microscope and saw teeny tiny monsters dancing? Oh well, this looks nothing less spooktacular anyway. I only sharpen my pencil that much when I'm super nervous about an exam, but this time, it's for science. Under the microscope, it resembles space, doesn't it? We all have our signature fragrances. Now let's see what a spray of perfume reveals. I welcome you to the mesmerizing world of tiny suspended droplets. The tiny liquid spheres vary in size, some resembling miniature planets, while others appear like sparkling stars in a cosmic galaxy. So you need to know propolis and honey are not the same things. Propolis is a resin-like material made by bees from the buds of trees, and it's used to build hives. Hey, can't blame you. I always need something sweet when I'm studying as well. Well, who could have guessed this video would make me hungry? Yep, this proved to me that chocolate is always a good option. We have another dirty makeup brush, everyone. Okay, I think this time it's for an experiment. Let's see micellar water in action, shall we? It's fascinating how it dissolves the powder product. Makeup lovers from around the world will be relieved about this. After iodine, it's time we put aspirin C to the test. But to be able to see the particles more clearly, we need to crush it first. Water is the key ingredient to start one magical process. Do you see how it dissolves? This is the definition of fast and furious, if you ask me. How about we look at how abscorbic acid works now? You know it's called vitamin C, right? This is almost as if we created our very own itty-bitty crystals. Looking at such everyday stuff through another lens, in a literal sense, makes a huge difference in how you view the world, right? Take a soap bar, for example. This reminds me of the snow-covered Narnia. But what if all that snow melted? And by that, I mean what if we mixed those solid particles with water? Just like how that Little Mermaid song goes, we got no troubles, life is the bubbles. But scratch under the sea, under the microscope will be a better fit for this. Here's a quick tip for you. If you're looking for alternatives to conventional cleaners, both citric acid and vinegar will work just fine. But the thing is, mixing them together won't help you create a stronger cleaner or something. It'll just create bubbles and mesmerizing shapes. By the way, wouldn't you agree that things are getting more and more hypnotizing with each new thing we investigate? I got my hopes high for this one too. Yep, I was right. Watching charcoal burn from this up close is just as fascinating as the rest. We're entering into the chemical reaction territories here. 
So if you're going to recreate these experiments, you might want to wear some protective gloves and goggles just in case. You can see the damage that the mixture of hydrogen peroxide and salt is doing to this piece of metal in real time. It's kind of startling to think that Brilliant Green can be used as an antiseptic as well as a clothing dye at the same time, right? Let's assume for a second that this is what gives your green silk shirt its color. This is what happens if you accidentally spill bleach on it. See how the color slowly dissolves? It kind of resembles watercoloring to me. There's no trace of the green left. Let's zoom in even further to get a more detailed picture. Did you know that the origins of red lipstick can be traced back as far as 3000 BCE? That's when the women of Mesopotamia began using crushed red gemstones to decorate their lips. This kind of looks like a volcano erupted and the molten lava is starting to finally freeze. Have you ever wondered what a nail file looks like up close when you're done doing your manicure? Well, you're about to find out. It's actually as if someone spread some salt on there. Here's a comparison with the clean nail file for you. Anyway, someone needs to clean that now. Last but not least, we have saliva to check out. Actually, that's the very first thing teachers make you look at under the microscope in science class, right? Here's a fact that's going to shock you. Researchers have found that one milliliter of saliva contains about a hundred million microorganisms. But that's probably a good thing that we're not seeing all of those now. I'm still gonna go and brush my teeth one more time. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.